There's been a lot of buzz here in the nation's capital in the last couple of weeks about something called pork barrel barbecue. It's a spice rub based here in Washington, D.C. Some people say the best barbecue spice rub in the nation, and the two guys that own the company, the next great business titans of our generation. So we've come to find out, is that true? Or is this just another deep, wasteful government program? I'm Brett Thompson, CEO of Pork Barrel Barbecue. And I'm Heath Hall, president of Pork Barrel Barbecue, a Washington, D.C.-based spice rub company that's been in business for just over six months. In that short period of time, we've been able to take our product, the All-American Spice Rub, and distribute it from coast to coast and several foreign countries, too. In recent weeks, we signed a distribution contract that is going to allow this product, the All-American Spice Rub, to be on grocery shelves up and down the eastern seaboard in the mid-Atlantic region. You know what? We got the best product. We got the right marketing. We've got the right branding. Most importantly, we've got friends in high places in Washington, D.C. You need some of those friends. And especially, we've got a supply chain where we can produce our product and we can sell it in Walmart or Whole Foods and make you money and make us money too. Keith Hall and Brett Thompson, owners of Pork Barrel Barbecue, claim to have the backing of a number of Washington's power players. But is that really the case? Here's what former Oklahoma Congressman Ernest Istook had to say. This is an outrage. I spent 14 years as a U.S. congressman trying to fight against pork barrel spending. Now these guys come in and they adopt the name and they're trying to turn it back into something positive. Yeah, I know that pork barrel barbecue is a great rub, but it rubs me the wrong way. That's all well and good and not an illegitimate concern. But what about the product itself? We found somebody who knows both pork barrel spending and pork barbecue rub. Former Texas Congressman Max Sandlin. I'm from Texas and I know barbecue and these two characters from Missouri clearly aren't playing by the rules. The question I keep asking myself is how two boys from Missouri can create a barbecue dry rub that's led to such bipartisan acceptance. They must be using an ingredient that hasn't been approved by the FDA. It's clear from these leaked photos that these self-appointed moguls of barbecue have been taking advantage of the proceeds of their pork barrel project. Now, both of these guys used to work right here in the Capitol building. So we went to their old boss, former Missouri Senator Jim Talent, to find out what he had to say about them. Well, I wasn't surprised when I heard that Brett Thompson and Heath Hall were starting a business, and I fully expect them to be successful with it. I mean, they're, they're aggressive, entrepreneurial, honest, which is unusual in Washington, and I think they'd be a lot of fun on the show, too. We recently cornered both Heath and Brett and asked them to defend this pork barrel project. Our passion for pork barrel barbecue began when we were kids. Ever since I was a kid, I love making money. I was a kid with a lemonade stand that would stay out past dark to make that extra five bucks. And I was the kid that grew up in a small Midwestern town with a dad who had multiple grills in the backyard. Rainy, sunny, snowy, it didn't matter. We were out there barbecuing. And I love pork barrel barbecue. That's why we make a great team. Okay, so maybe they can weasel around the validity of the project itself, but it brings us back to the real question. How good is the actual spice rub itself? We, we sought out some food experts to give us their opinion. Here's Top Chefs, Carla and Ariane. Oh, we'll bring pork them on. Pork Barrel Barbecue. So Pork Barrel Barbecue. We're a spice rub company, so this is just a little bit of olive oil. Uh -huh. And our uh, All-American Spice Rub. What do you think? It's a little, little smoky. Very got smoky. some uh, chipotle chili and some ancho chilies and a little smoked paprika. Got a nice smoke. Uh, he's the chef of the company. It's a good job. Okay. So the spice rub is good, but I just can't get away from the whole pork barrel thing. So I had to go to a Washington insider, guy I trust, a guy you know, Tucker Carlson, to get his take on the whole pork barrel controversy. I've covered a lot of scandals in Washington over the past 20 years, Monica Lewinsky, Duke Cunningham, Jack Abramoff, but there's something different in the air in Washington, D.C. There's a smell, a palpable smell. It smells like meat pork barrel barbecue. That's the phrase in the lips of every Washingtonian in the know. And nothing brings this city together like pork. My goal for pork barrel barbecue? To make billions of dollars for us and the sharks. And then to do a hostile takeover and pass on his share to my son Sawyer. 
This guy's already swimming with the sharks. So like most things that originate in the murky halls of the United States Capitol, we're left with more questions than answers. But this we know for sure. Pork Barrel Barbecue Rub is a great barbecue rub, and Brett and Heath are probably destined for business greatness. There is a rumor here in the Capitol that ABC will take a more in-depth look at the inner workings of this company in the fall. And then we just might find out if they should be swimming with the sharks. In Washington, D.C., I'm Scott Walterman. Sharks, if you want friends in high places, pick Pork Barrel Barbecue! barbecue.